Hey, what's happening, guys? This was Nagpal for IGN Dirt In, and today we're going to be taking a look at gaming as well as benchmarks and hardware on the new OnePlus One that is headed to India. It's currently available only on an invite system, and uh, like I said earlier, we're going to be giving away about 10 invites on our giveaway at the end of this week. So stay tuned for that, and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so that you can get information and take part in that giveaway. Let's go on ahead and I'm going to power on Quadrant Advanced on uh, this device so that we can take a quick look at the hardware. As you can see, the product is called the A0001 or the OnePlus One. Uh, the model ID or the product ID is Bacon, which is pretty interesting. Sort of makes me hungry. But going ahead, uh, we have the MSM897 for uh, chipset, which is uh, the Pro AC version. That means this is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. It is an ARM V7 processor. It is clocked at 2.5 gigahertz as you can see and it is a quad core processor. You can see we have a total of three gigabyte of RAM. Moving ahead, if you look at the display resolution, you can see that we have a full 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's because we don't have on-screen buttons. Although using Cyanogen mod, you can enable the on-screen buttons. The DPI is 403 by 403 and we have the Adreno 330 GPU. If we move on ahead, we have an extensive set of sensors. I didn't expect this device to have so many sensors. This is one of the highest sensor equipped devices. You have a step detector and a step counter, a basic gesture sensor, a flip sensor, tilt sensor, gyro sensor. All the sensors are listed over here. You can have a quick look at them. Let's go on ahead and run a full benchmark. The full benchmark is pretty impressive. We get a massive score of 23,178 on Quadrant Advance, which is pretty impressive. And if you take a look at the total information, you get CPU at 88,000, memory at 17,500 approximately, input output at 7477, and 2D, 3D graphics at 517 and 2322 respectively. Let's move on ahead and take a look at how this performs on Nina Mark. Again, on Nina Mark, we get a pretty impressive score of 61.3 frames per second, uh, which is pretty fantastic for the graphics capability of the device. Let's go on ahead and take a look at the Antutu score on this device. So again, on Antutu, the device scores a massive 37,500, which is right up there with the top benchmarks on other device. You can see that it shows that it's above uh, the Samsung Galaxy S5 as well as the HTC One M8. So it's basically scoring right there on the top in terms of benchmarks on Antutu. Uh, again, you can see the detailed score chart over here, the RAM speed, the multitasking rating, etc., is all available to you. It's time to game on the OnePlus One, so let's go on ahead and take a look at some of the gaming uh, that we're going to be doing. So we'll start off with uh, Modern Combat 4. The one thing that you notice straight off the bat is that the display is pretty accurate in terms of color and uh, reproduction of that color. Uh, you don't see extended blues or uh, the yellow hues that everyone's been complaining about. I don't see that on this particular device as for now. Uh, the touch response from the screen is pretty impressive and the speaker is mighty loud. Uh, the music from the game as well as the sound effects from the game are really impressive, really loud and clear. No matter how uh, tightly or how weirdly I hold the device, the sound doesn't get muffled up. So that is impressive, really high quality sound, really high quality graphics. As you can see, it's loading up all details in the game. Uh, you can see great amounts of smoke from uh, the gun as well, flares, glares as well as uh, detailed smoke patterns. You don't see any pixelation in that whatsoever. So pretty impressive in terms of the gaming capabilities. It's really smooth, the game playback, the game load times, and uh, the overall response time from the game is mighty fast as well. Pretty impressive. Uh, take a look at some more gaming with Modern Combat 4, and we'll move on.
The next game we are going to be looking at is Asphalt 8. Right after I'm done customizing my vehicle to my favorite blue color, let's go on ahead and take a look at gaming. Again, the first thing that you notice straight off the bat is that the colors are really accurate and the sound is really impressive and loud. So in terms of those two things, I don't think you can complain at all. Uh, the graphics are really detailed. Uh, you can see the smoke patterns are really, really complex. The tire patterns are uh, really accurate as well. You can see all forms of glare, uh, the glare from the sun, the reflections on the car. Everything is being loaded up really fast in real time on full graphics. No complaints in terms of the gameplay feedback. Touch response is almost instant. Um, more or less, um, the best sort of gaming that you can get from this game. Uh, you're able to get on this device. Watch a bit more of the gaming and uh, then you can have a look for yourself. Last but not the least, we played a bit of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Again, uh, this is one of the good old graphics intensive games uh, of the day, but now it's easily available on all Android devices, almost all Android devices. Again, on this you can see uh, that uh, the response from the game is pretty impressive. Uh, the touch response is good as well. Uh, the gameplay graphics, sceneries are loaded up in real time, everything all the way to the background is fully loaded up. So no problem, no lag in terms of loading up of things. Details on elements is impressive as well as artifacting is almost zero. You can see glare from the sun is also pretty impressively detailed on this. So overall pretty happy with the overall gameplay feedback uh, from uh, the Cyanogen mod equipped OnePlus One. It's headed for India in the coming month, so make sure if you're waiting for this device uh, that you wait on a little bit longer. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, we are giving away uh, a bunch of invites for uh, getting hold of this OnePlus One unit uh, later on, as well as you can have one shipped to the US uh, if you have uh, somebody there and this is going to be a global giveaway so stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out we're going to be coming back with a bunch of comparisons for you guys so stay tuned for that and until we see you next time guys this has been Bharat Nagpal enjoy the rest of the gaming and I'll see you in the next one